All right, folks, today I wanted to show you my Hot Wheels haul for the month of October, November, and December 2014. Today is January 5th, 2015. A little bit late to show all these, but the last three months, uh, Q case, A case, B case, and C case have just been popping up here and there in Manila. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. Let's start with Matchbox. Uh, we don't get a lot of Matchbox now. It's been a year since the retailer has imported any new Matchbox. A little over, just, yeah, a little over a year. And the only way to get new Matchbox cars is through the hobby shops. And I'm very picky with these uh, because a lot of them are just repaints. And uh, sorry, just give me a sec to get rid of the price tags. Uh, I don't know which wave these are from, but uh, I love these modes, the FJ Cruiser, 68 FJ, and the M1 BMW. I thought their colors were great. Uh, I decided to pick him up. That's, that's it for Matchbox. Uh, now for some Hot Wheels. Let's start with Q case, then we'll go with A, B, and then C case. And then Treasure Hunts in the end, and then the Retro Pop Culture Elite uh, cars the very end all right uh, let's start with some stuff for Alex and Danny uh, berserk buzzerk yeah this is gonna be for them as well as this one glow in the dark two timer I love this mold it's great on the boosters great on the tracks on the loops the night dragon color is not so great I wish it would have been a deeper red uh, but it's bordering on maroon Fine. Papa Wheelie. Yeah. For Danny and Alex. Uh, let's see what else I got. I like this. Off duty. It's done in this really shiny metallic green. It's going to be for, for Alex. Picked this one up because it was 50 years, the Myers Max. It was an anniversary car. I'm not a big fan of the casting, but I love the color and the presentation on the card. This one's going to be, I'm going to keep this on card for me. Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Yep. Pretty neat. I like, I like the casting, but the orange is just so-so for me. Lamborghini Veneno. Is this Q case, I think? Yeah. Lamborghini Veneno. I love the Lambos, but orange. I'm not a big fan of Hot Wheels when they make orange. It's just okay uh, for me. I wish they made it matte. That would have probably made the figure pop. Uh, the figure, the the car pop. But it's classic glossy orange. Yeah. Well, let me see. So I have a couple. I think I have a couple more. I think. No, I, did I only just get one. Yeah. Apparently, I only got one from the. Uh, case that's fine now I don't need a lot uh, picked up several more of these the Dodge Charger drift uh, police car I thought this was pretty neat uh, it's a nice uh, uh, you need several and you have your play sets uh, I thought it was pretty neat Ducati 1199 Panigale. I like the original color version uh, better. The white one is okay. Uh, got one for myself. Jeep Scrambler. Not too bad. Uh, I actually like how this thing turned out. I'm gonna keep one for myself. I'll give the rest to. I'll give another one to Danny and Alex. Twenty fifteen Ford Mustang GT. I thought this was really nice. Uh, not a lot of collectors were picking this one up, but I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, casting's good enough. Uh, really nice red fire hydrant red, fire truck red. Nice wheels, some tampos in front and back. Not a bad car, really not a bad car. Very very nice. And finally. Uh, just to wrap up the Q case, 
everyone's been after this car for some reason. Uh, this thing's like selling $12 online. The Super is selling like $30, $40. Just a ridiculous price tag for these. But, you know, I got I got several on the pegs. And they're, they're not too bad. Um, and I don't know what the big deal was with this one. Especially here in Asia. Because it is a Japanese car. Uh, a lot of, you know, it's sold in Asia. It's going to be picked up by a lot of collectors over here it is a nice casting it's a new one for the last batch of 2014 it's gonna be re I'm sure it's gonna be repainted in 2015 but it is a nice nice first color done in red Zach a little bit brighter just a little bit brighter than the Mustang uh, great tempos this one is a crappy tempos um, this one is should be like this but this one is yeah, some guy fell asleep and like uh, the, 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 the stencil went down a little bit. So Yeah, the Datsun, 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon. Very, very nice. Let's we'll keep that there. All right, now on to the AKs for 2015. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, let's move the Q case cars here for Alex and Danny here more for Alex and Danny Alex loves these jets. They're like mad mad props. It's a good casting. I'm not like that. Snoopy for 2015 uh, Yeah, it's the same to just change the wheel. So I just need one for the collection Salt shake salt shaker interesting car possibly new. Yep for 2015 Danny's gonna love that this one for Alex are due RD D2 RDO2 great. This is probably gonna be great on the track. We'll see. Glow in the dark, maximum leeway. I love this casting, but it's done in purple. Danny's probably gonna like it, but Alex will like the, the glow in the dark feature. This one I like forward speed, it's great on the track. Uh, just an amazing, well balanced car, and it's done in red. I love it, love the color. Kids are gonna like that. More stuff for the kids. Nerve hammer done in blue and green, translucent plastic, just amazing. It says glow. It looks like it's glowing in the dark, but it's not. It's not a glow in the dark color. I love the bread box. This one has two different wheels. I thought it was pretty neat. We're gonna open that up later with Alex and Danny. Super van, great heavy casting. Love the wheels. Love the tampos. Twenty fifteen. The 13, 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. Not a big fan of the wheels from this one. But I love the Camaros, so I decided to probably get one just for me, for my collection. Ah, the wheels suck, but uh, the yellow came out well. It's like a metallic mustard finish on it, light mustard with some red and white. Really nice. This one I'm going to keep mint. Uh, because it's it's got that card on it, the 50 years of the Hemi, and uh, it's a nice, nice, nice casting, very heavy, classic wheels, nice blue on it. It's going to be several versions of this one for 2015, but I'm happy with the blue, so I'm going to keep that. Datsun 620 truck, really nice color on this one. This thing just really pops. I don't need to open this one. I've had the red one opened up. It's very nice, so I'm going to keep this one mint. More stuff for Alex and Danny. Got the Super Blitzen. 68 El Camino. I think this is the B case. Yes, we're going to the B case, I think. MIG rig. Plastic, but metal base. So, it'll be cool. B and A cases, they, they came out at the same time. 70 Ford Mustang Mach 1. I was very curious about this one. It's got almost the same yellow metallic metallic finish that the Camaro had. Uh, some chipping here and there. It looks nice. Uh, it's a little bit darker. Darker type of yellow on it. But the tempos on this one were like horrible for a lot of cars I've seen. This one was, was the most decent one uh, on the side. That's fine. The Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. I love this. I love this casting for 2015 in the B case. 
uh, we, we had already the one with the hard top. This one is the convertible version. Nice. Look at that. Nice tempo. It's all on yellow wheels. Loving this car. Okay. Let's see. Uh, more from the B case. 70 Chevy Chevelle. This is nice. I love the presentation on this one. Dark blue indigo color. The tempo's going on. Very nice. It's going to be filed. Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. I just love the Vipers. And for me, for my collection. It looks great. You know, at first glance, it's like oh, white. Another white uh, version of a sports car. But this one, look at the wheels are great. Tempos on top are great. Both sides says Speed Hunters. Great. Glad I picked it. The only problem with this one, if you're looking through several, it's like the the misaligned uh, headlamps and the Dodge logo. That's going to be quality issues there. Porsche Panamera. I uh, wasn't too sure about this particular car, but it was new for 2015. And uh, I like the Porsche. I like the Panamera, but this one was white metallic. Uh, it's okay. I just probably need one. My opened up collection. Not bad, actually. I like the plastic, the clear plastic windows. Pretty neat. Acura NSX concept. Uh, good enough. Uh, there were a lot of issues with this one, particularly the tempos in the back and on the front and on the top. Everywhere. Just the tempos were just horrible for this particular car. But I found two that were okay. Mm-hmm. Keep one. And, uh, again, the wheels aren't that great, but I love the casting on this one. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, yeah, just be wary of the quality control, lack of quality control tempos. All right, more from the B case. Got the cool combi. Uh, a lot of collectors were passing up on this one. I, I like it. Um, I like the casting. Uh, I like the color. It gives it that Scooby-Doo type of look. Fortunately, it's not a super... Uh, be nice to actually get one. I love that super. Hobby shops are probably selling that for $30, $40, Next is the Porsche Turbo RSR. Not bad. The orange version was crap. This one was really nice. This one's nice. I like this. I'm really liking this one. Black. Metallic. Although it's metallic. Not as metallic-ish as I... Well, it's not bad. I like that nail polish finish. This one's actually pretty cool. Tempos are great. Gold wheels. Uh, nice. Ferrari 599 GTD Ferrano. Uh, collectors were skipping this one. I don't know. Not a big fan of yellow on Ferraris, but I like this model. It's an old one. No year. But I have seen this one before, I think. Or is it new? Or was it first released in the five pack? I think it was in the five pack first. And we have the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 should be Super Snake. They were scrimping on the ink. The Super Snake because I love the tempos on this one. Much like this one. White with orange and black. This one's really nice. Nice wheels, gray wheels. Look at that. And on the hood. Man, get a load of that. Nice. Well done. Well done. Is it still the B case? Yep. Got a boatload of this car. Um, I like this one. I like the Datsun 240Z, another Asian car. Used, now it's called, well, Datsun is now Nissan. This one's a very, very nice presentation. Redeco of this car. Black and blue. Look at that. And all the sponsor tempos on the side. Just amazing. Love this. I'm really loving this one. Uh, 
thoughts and I'll probably let's give one to Alex and Danny. I'm sure they're gonna like one. I'll give them one. You want me to rip the card? Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, for the V case, I did pick up this one, the Ford uh, Concept GR Shelby Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. It's already opened up because. Danny and Alex, they opened up, I had two of these, they both opened up by mistake, I don't know, they, they found it somewhere, I stashed it away, but they found both of them, they love orange, so, it's a nice car, good enough, but not a lot of collectors are picking it up. Lamborghini, I love my Lambos, uh, the Urus, yeah. kind of just looks like a Cayenne, uh, I'm not sure what Lamborghini did, an SUV. That's fine. It looks great. I mean, just plain, deep, metallic red. Some tempos front and back. Yeah, look at that. And the, it's the logo that's going to be a problem. I've seen several on the pegs. It's the logo. Lamborghini logo. It's really messing up that car. James Bond, the spy who loved me. Lotus Esprit S1. I like this car uh, for, for the, from the movie because it's transformed into a submarine. Uh, let's see. Let's open up one. New for 2015. The Lotus Esprit became very popular after that movie. Very nice, sporty looking car. Back in the 70s, it was really hot, hot car, hot ride. But it's new for 2015. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, the white came out well. Black tempos. This is going to be the problem here, right here. The thin black stripe and the doorknob. That, that's one of the issues right there. Okay. What else? All right. Uh, Batmobile. Repaint of the Michael Keaton Batmobile. Which one am I opening up? A lot of collectors were after this car. Michael Keaton 90s Batmobile, my favorite Batmobile from the movies. I mean, I like the Tumblr, but this one really has a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories uh, with these. Could not get my own Batmobile back in the day. I was like in the seventh grade. I was like, man, it was an amazing bat. The, arm the armor's up and then armor's down. It was like splits up with the bat. Ah, oh, man. One of the best Batman films for me was Batman with Michael Keaton, the first one with the Joker. Okay. Aston Martin, DBS. Mm. Wasn't a big fan of this color, but it was okay. I like the Aston Martin. Deep red. Yeah, yeah, it looks actually better. Now that you mention it, I was. I'm kind of hoping it'd be more like this. This is more on dark red, maroonish. This one is brighter red, candy red. Yeah, but. Okay. Highway Holler 2. Uh, Alex is gonna love that. The 2013 Copo Camaro. I love the tempos on this one. The wheels are just okay. Wish they would have given it a more modern uh, wheel, but. Love this uh, racing, but done in deep blue instead of that regular blue. Wow. All right. Treasure hunt. Cheap CJ7. Very nice. Glad to have picked this one up. Oh, I actually have several of these. I'm not sure why it's the first one. Let's see. Yeah, wait. I will do the treasure hunts last. Okay. We'll get the others first. Okay. We'll just get things organized, okay? I already had already showed you guys cloak and dagger that was a treasure hunt for the Q case so uh, for the a B and C case uh, treasure I'm gonna show you guys that later let me
me just get things organized. So, yeah, okay, A, A, B, C. Let's go, let me show you guys the C case cars first. Yeah, I think we should do that. Okay, let's do that. C case, turbine time, love, love this car uh, for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> heavy, heavy, looks like Optimus Prime, some regard. Uh, look at that, well, well done. New for 2015, it's probably gonna be great on the track. We'll see. Pedal driver. Interesting. Pedal car. They turned into a hot wheel car. Hot wheel car. Eh, okay. Cute little car if you're really into these pedal cars. Uh, what else? Not a super, but I uh, hope get to find it I like this casting not a big fan of the regular release the, the super is just really an amazing uh, presentation on that one this one is just a plain red version of the uh, Toyota Corolla A6 yep Toyota A86 Corolla yeah, it's not bad it's actually pretty nice Morris Mini, orange. Not a big fan of this color, but it is a Morris Mini. It's a Mini. Bentley Continental Super Sports. Wow. Again, the wheels. What the hell is up with the wheels with, with uh, Mattel? I mean, come on, right? But the color is great. Uh, black on red. Wow. Just really great. Viper, SRT Viper GTSR. Man, I didn't, I wasn't sure the gray the silver was going to turn out great, but I did. Man, look at this. I wish they'd do a black one or a red one of this one. Man, or blue. This would really, really be nice. Look at that. In silver, it's already great enough as it is. Lambos, again, as I said. Love this veneno. I like this more than the orange that came out in the Q case. Red one. Deep, deep red. Little Lamborghini. Wow, look at that. This is probably the only Lamborghini. The only time I can buy Lamborghinis. Look at the wheels. I mean, look at this. One of the best designs I've seen Lambos came out with. Okay, last for the sea case is the and then another Batmobile, the Brave and the Bold. I thought this was a recast, but it's it's new for 2015. Thank you, Mattel. Uh, crappy wheels, but wow, the Brave and the Bold from the cartoon show, really nice in the 64, the 64 scale. Is it new? Yeah. Yep, yep, 2014 on the back. It's a deep type of blackish blue indigo color. Wow. Might not do well on the tracks, but I don't care. It's a great Batmobile. Then they're going to come up with that live again. Okay, uh, treasure hunts from the A case. We got the chicane. Nice. Open up one for you guys. Circle Flame logo. Chrome, all chromed out. Very, very nice. Again, I've showed you the Jeep Scrambler. Nice. I, this, is, uh, this is this is a, it's an actual car and not a fantasy car. A lot of collectors were after this one. Nice off-road wheels. Great body. Look at that. Plastic, uh, clear yellow. Windshield roll cage right here. Nice. Nice. I'm just liking this orange better than that veneno. Uh, yeah. 
Even if it's orange, I don't like it. Put the treasure in the sea. Sea case, rocket fire. Uh, the US card will have that. The symbol on this vehicle lets you know that it is hard, fine, and highly collectible. Uh, but the uh, international card will just have the Circle Flame logo, so that's fine. I I've been a fan of this mold since it was released in 2012 or 2011 or something like that. And when was this released? 2007? I didn't even know. But I bought my first Rocket Fire back in 2012 and I was like, wow. Uh, it'll do great on the tracks, I suppose. But this one's a nice presentation. No, There's a Circle Flame logo, less like watermark right there. And there's a even bigger one right here <laughs> you missed that one out so very nice thank you Mattel uh, so far the treasure hunts have been okay regular ones uh, you're asking me did I get a super as a matter of fact I did this is the regular version for the Roadster I love this car I love this casting and this is the tre these are the tr uh, the treasure hunts as you can see Let me just give you one comparison Case, it's very easy to miss this as you can see the, the treasure the super treasure hunt is done in a deeper blue color this one is a light metallic blue color um, same base the wheels are different I don't know if you can see it this one is deeper more recessed type of wheel that one's plastic this one is deeper right there uh, it's got some rubber tires you can see the treading on there it's not smooth like this one and the tampos on top, you can see the orange stripe on the on the super and on the regular there's nothing on it. So it's supposed to say TH. So, oh there we go on the on the butt. It says like TH right there. Treasure hunt. So this is the super. This is the regular version. It looks exactly the same but different. Even the artwork on the card, as you can see, is very different. Uh, for both cars. So this is the only Super I got for the last part of 2014. I'm hoping to get the others. We'll see. Maybe Hop Shop's one. I did get two, so I'm saving these. These are going to be MOC Supers. Uh, this one, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it on card as well. So there you go, folks. Oh, not yet. Sorry. Just a couple more sets. Uh, I did pick up. I wasn't too sure about this, but uh, they look nice. The cereal. <laughs> Pop culture, we get Cocoa Puffs, uh, the uh, yeah, General Mills, the second wave of General Mills, I think. You get Cocoa Puffs, the Texas Driving, Blueberry, you got the MIG Rig. Oh, this one looked nice, actually. Uh, collectors weren't picking that one up, but it looks nice. This one I love. The Trix, a custom 62 Chevy. Love the wheels on this one. Everyone was picking up this one. These three, no, this, these two, actually. Lucky Charms. Ford F-150 because it was so heavy, great rubber wheels, the Smoke and Grill, Fruit Brute, look at those, look at that wheels, I mean the wheels are just okay, but they look, <laughs> with the silver on them and rubber tires, red line on it, looks really nice, lastly, you know what nobody was picking this one, the 59 Chevy Delivery, Count Chocula, yeah, Last, last on the list, uh, last, I'm going to show you guys, the Wave 2 of the Elite 1 series of cars, we got the Back to the Future, Time Machine, wow, I love this, this is probably my favorite in the Wave, the A-Team, not a lot of collectors are picking this one up, but I think this has the most die cast metal, and I thought this was really great, gray on black and red, really nice, the Elite 1 was made, so the Get collectors started with the Elite Series. Elite one, you move up to the bigger, bigger cars. And finally, the one everyone's been picking up here, at least in Manila, is the Elite One Dark Knight Trilogy Batman. I don't understand what the but the the, the hoo how on this one was, but it's it's the same one that's been on the blister card, the Batman, but people seem to have missed out on that one and they, they really want the tumbler. Uh, but this one's nice. Uh, love it. And you know what? I got all three 20% off. I was so lucky. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, I'm not going to open up the others that I've kept mint. The ones I've opened up are just the ones I'm going to stay open. Catch more of my videos on this channel, Chefatron. And uh, thanks for watching.